Hello everyone, Alicia here with another Lightened Up Weight Watcher friendly recipe. And today's recipe is also going to be a copycat recipe. And that is gonna be for Chipotle cilantro lime rice. Now in this case, since I am lightening things up, it's gonna be cilantro lime cauliflower rice. Now I used to do this recipe with rice, but as I said, I'm lightening it to make it a little lower carb, lower points, all that good stuff. But I'm gonna be doing it with the cauliflower rice today because I have really grown to like the cauliflower rice. I was buying it and, well this specifically, I was buying a cilantro lime cauliflower rice frozen. You just pop them in the microwave, steam them that way. Really easy, but not all that inexpensive. This is a whole lot cheaper way to do it. And in my opinion, making it yourself, it is, you know, a little bit more steps, but I think it tastes a whole lot better than the frozen stuff. So I thought I would share how I've been doing this with you guys and let you know. I like to use this mainly for burrito bowls, but it makes a great side or whatever you wanna use it for. So let me jump in to ingredients real quick and show you what you're gonna to need to make this. Four ingredients, there's very few of them. First off, you're gonna need a medium sized head of cauliflower. I went ahead, cut the end off that, washed it up real well. Um, but you're looking for around four cups. I usually have a little bit more than that, but four or five cups of rice cauliflower when you're done with it. Here I've got a lime, I'm gonna be using the juice from that. And then in here, I've got about a quarter cup of cilantro that are just kind of roughly chopped up. You're also gonna need a tablespoon of olive oil and then about a quarter teaspoon black pepper and then a half teaspoon salt. And that is all there is to it. Very, very simple, very, very few ingredients. But again, this stuff is so good. Uh, so much better, I think, than the frozen, as I was saying before. But let me jump in and get it started so you can see how you make this. So first step to getting this going is to get your cauliflower riced. Now, you can do this by hand with a grater. You can use a food processor. I like to use my KitchenAid, this coarse blade here. Now, it doesn't give perfect riced cauliflower. You'll get little um, kind of strands in there too, but I think it does a pretty good job. So I like, well, and more importantly, it's a whole lot faster than by hand and easier to clean than my uh, food processor. So I like to use this, but you can use whatever you want to grate yours up. With this, just toss it in, turn it on, and go. that's what it looks like. I'll show you a little closer up here when I'm done grating the rest of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and grate the rest of this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got a little bit of a mess here, which happens, uh, but I wanted to kind of show you a little closer up what this looks like. Hopefully that's picking up. Um, also, I measured this out and I ended up getting just about six cups, so a little more than I typically have, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. Uh, that head of cauliflower was probably more, honestly, on the large size than medium, which is what I typically use. But anyway, you, you're you looking for anywhere, like I said, four to five cups. I'm going with six this time, so, you know, four to six cups, and I think uh, that works just fine. So now I'll go ahead and take you over to the stove and show you the next step. So here I've got a large pan that I've got on medium, medium high heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my tablespoon of olive oil in there. Along with my cauliflower rice. And I realized that I had forgotten an ingredient as I was getting ready to put this in here. I like to add a couple bay leaves too. So I'll be sure to have this down in the description box where I've got the uh, ingredients typed out. I'll add the bay leaves in there. So I'm gonna go ahead, just kind of toss a couple bay leaves on top. And now what I'm gonna do is 
again on medium heat. I'm gonna put a lid on this and let this cook for probably 10, 10 plus minutes until that rice has softened up nicely. And I will stir it occasionally during that process. Now, this time, since I've got probably a little more rice than I typically do, it may take a little bit longer, but I will be back once that is nice and softened up. It's been just about 10 minutes and this is looking and smelling done. So now I'm gonna remove my bay leaves out of there. Also, I just turned off the heat on this. And I'm gonna add a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And then some salt. And you wanna just kinda do this to taste. So I'm gonna put a little bit in, stir it up, and see how, see how it tastes. That's all kind of personal preference. I'll have rough estimates down in the ingredients list. Just stir that in. I'll give it a taste. Tastes good to me, so now I'm gonna add in my cilantro and then add my lime juice in. Give it all a good stir. And that is all there is to this. Very, very simple. I'll go ahead and put it in a serving dish. Okay, and here it is. Now, I factor this in at six servings. So in this case, I'm gonna get about a cup per serving. It's gonna be a little less if, you know, depending on the amount of cauliflower you use, again, four to six cups is probably typically what I end up using but I almost always use these to do my burrito bowls, which I make six of those. So I just divide this into six parts. And the points on that is gonna be just one point per serving. So nice and low points, very, very delicious. And just makes a great, like I said, side burrito bowl in a burrito, just however you wanna have it. I just really love this stuff. So I thought I'd show you guys how I made it. And again, it's pretty quick and easy. The most difficult part about it is just getting that cauliflower rice riced up. Now, if you don't wanna do that at all, you could use just the plain frozen. That is gonna make your cook time a little bit longer, but that is an option as well. If you wanna skip the step of having to rice your own cauliflower. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.